Hi guys and welcome to Computer Tutorials. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a name and age alert system on Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition, which is absolutely free by the way. Now it's continuing from Hello World Tutorial, which was yesterday. So, uh, you need to go to a file new project and you need to choose Windows Forms application and name it Name and Age Alert. And then press enter and it should load the form. So you need, so from this sidebar you need one button, you need two labels, um, yes, and you need the text box, where the text, ah, oh, text box here, so two text boxes. So, uh, drag one label to the top here. And, and that's for text box 1 and uh, label 2 is text box 2 and the button will make that a bit bigger I suppose and the text should equal and for the button should equal what's it what is my is my name and age question mark Okay, so if it alerted the name, well, we've we just put the buttons, and then we need to get the variable. Well, so not variables, the um, the labels. A label one should equal name colon. A label two should equal age colon. So first of all, we're going to need to create the variables. So on on the button one dot um, on the click of the button, just, uh, just double click on the button. And you need to type in dim name as string. Then press enter. And this, and we're going to say name equals, and then do two speech marks together, which indicates that it's a null value. And do the same for the a dim age as. And you tell you have to say integer, and uh, and uh, make sure it's integer. And you shouldn't really use capitals, by the way. That's it can cause a problem later on. So you need to say also you need to say age equals. Then you need to do two speech marks together. Okay, now we um, we need to go get this thing, and we say. Now I'm just doing this. That, that's just um. To make sure the variables are blank, now you can say age equals text box one dot text. No, so that's not right. So you need to say name equals name equals text box one dot text. Age equals text. And then, oh, this is different. Sorry, I mean to say. And um, now the age you need to say a capital C capital I, N T, open brackets. Text box two dot two dot text close brackets. They need to alert it, so you can just you can make you can make a new variable, say dim alert as string. And you say alert equal. You say alert equals, and you just say open speech mark. Say your name is colon space then you close the speech marks and you do an ampersand name then you need to say another ampersand you are colon space then you need to close the speech marks and you just ampersand and age then you just press enter you need to say msg box open brackets so alert then you can do comma and here it tells you stuff you can do message box style dot information press enter and there we go now testing it let's go to let's do debugging it now you just type your naming which mine is Brian age 13 and there's been a problem, so 
it the good thing about this is it tells you if there's a problem it tells you and it there's a problem with it so don't worry you can just delete that or something and you can say because it's ages been specified there and there we go let's try it off again and that should have been fixed so Ryan age 13 to my name and age your name, your name is Ryan you are 13 you've got your information thing there you can obviously change to the text later on but that's basically it it's brilliant and well done for making it you guys so thanks for watching this tutorial and by the way I've managed to say if you want to build a program which I don't recommend you do you can go to build up here and build name and age alert so thank you for watching this tutorial Peter Tutorial is signing out please rate 5 stars comment and subscribe Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.